Get more customers from social media or from Google. Be there when they need you most. Be the solution to your customers' questions. Stay top of mind. Give people the resources that they want. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Today I wanna to talk about where you should be getting your customers from. Where should you put all of your focus? And that is a question that a lot of people ask me on a consistent basis. Do I post on social media or do I focus on Google? Well, there's com two completely different things. I actually just heard a story of somebody that isn't gonna be doing a website. They're only gonna be focused on social media and getting clients from there. Well, the honest truth is you're gonna be missing out on 50% of your potential people. Social media, people are scrolling, browsing. They have a different agenda. They're not necessarily looking for your product or your service. Google, people are actually typing in exactly what they want. Are you showing up for exactly what somebody wants or are you just trying to interrupt the feed? Now, both are great options and I would say both are about 50%. So number one, tip number one, is be there for when your customers need you the most. Be there on Google when somebody's searching your product. If you're the business and you're the service that shows up exactly when somebody needs it, because they're exactly typing that in, you're more likely to get hired that way. Tip number two is to be there for the common questions. So when somebody's asking a question, they're probably typing it into Google, and if you show up as the authority or the expert answering that question, they're more likely to get to know you, to remember your brand, to follow up with you, and to stay on your website. So those are two from Google. Then the two from social media is you wanna stay top of mind. So using your brand, using videos, and using posts, people can start interacting with you and they see what you offer on a consistent basis. As an example, we do videos and posts about websites on a consistent basis. Now somebody might not be searching into Facebook or Instagram about websites right now, but when they are ready for a website and they need a company that does websites, we hope that they're gonna think of us because we're the ones that are out there helping and providing tips on a consistent basis. And last but not least is using social media, you're gonna be giving those resources that people want. So instead of trying to sell your service when somebody's not ready, you can provide them resources, eBooks, guides, different things that they can sign up for and learn about it even if they're not ready yet. So Google, you wanna show up when somebody searches for it. Social media, you wanna to use to build up your brand so people remember you. Now one of the coolest strategies is, is if you get customers from, social, or from Google coming to your website, you can retarget them with pixels so they see you on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram to build up that brand. Because a lot of times when somebody finds you on Google, they may not be ready yet. Even though they're looking for a solution, looking for their question to be answered, they still may not buy. So now you can stay top of mind by using social media. So I'm gonna give you three stats here. Where the most people come from to the website to buy or to get started with you. Number one is the brand. They're actually typing in your exact website or going to your exact website. So where are you putting those links? You're putting those links on Google, you're putting them on social media, and you're putting them in your profile. And then you're talking about them or posting them so they're typing it in. So that's a little bit of both. Number one traffic source of websites is your brand, your name, the exact website that you have. People have gotten to know you, they remember that link, and they're clicking on it or typing in. Number two is from the Google results. So now you don't wanna miss out on the search engines because you're getting most of your traffic from that. So you wanna show up when somebody searches for you on Google. And then the last third is social media. So I usually see it as a direct link, a Google link, and then a Facebook. Those are the people coming into websites that I see the most. So what I recommend, think about them as 50-50. Do them both. Don't just pick one. Don't just pick your social media to promote because people aren't on social media looking for you. And don't pr not promote on social media because you're only focused on Google because you need that social media and emails to continue building the brand so you build trust with people because if they're not ready the first day, they may be ready next month, next year, or in five years from now. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Please share this, subscribe, and let us know if you ever need any help with your website. We will definitely knock it out of the park for you. Thanks again, and I hope you have a great day.